everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. Uh, I think we were up to, yes we are up to, renewing the covenant, 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 <laughs> covenant, uh, which I take it is going to be like uh, some kind of cinematic, so, uh, but there's a red marker over it, so I'm taking we have to equip the mask that they gave us. It's not going to let me do it that way, so I'll have to do it this way. You get the controller. Inventory. Nope. Armory quest. Uh, head. Yes, mask. Equip. Right, so I am either have to do this in my uh, bra and pantaloons. Or equip. that until I do this quest because the other one is better as you could see now well, let's find out Everybody's here. May she find favor with the Ella. This radiance. Mm -mm. Could it be a crystal of light? Tell me true. Has the mother crystal revealed herself to you? Did you bask in her light? Have you, perchance, experienced sensations akin to ether sickness of late? That Heidelin would speak directly to this woman. There once were dauntless adventurers who fought in the name of Eorzea. When the primals threatened to bleed the land dry, these brave men and women rose to face them. When the Garlean Empire resumed its war of conquest, they rushed to the realm's defense, and when it was foretold that Dalamud would fall, they fought with all their strength to deliver us from certain doom. Yet as strong and as brave as they were, they, like so many, disappeared amidst the flames at Cartano. None have forgotten the heroes who gave all for the sake of a realm not their own. Yet when we try to recall their names, we find the pages of our memories are blank, as if bleached by the sun. And when we try to recall their faces, we see them only in silhouette, as if they stood betwixt us and a blinding glare. Hence have these heroes come to be known as the Warriors of Light. Beholding you, illuminated by the glow of the crystal, I could not help but be reminded of them. The crystal has chosen you for a purpose. Trust to its guiding light, and all shall be revealed to you in good time. Though none can say for certain what the future will bring, 
It is my belief that you may yet play a telling role in the tale of this great realm. For the power of the Echo resides within you. Uh -oh. to the fore! Victory belongs to the bold! Show those Imperial whore sons what we're made of! The left flank buckles. Divert the Barracudas. Bid them hold that position though it cost them their lives. The Yellow Serpents are in need of succor. Pray, send the White Wolves to their aid. The adventurers risk life and limb for our cause. We must not fail them. Is aught amiss? No, it is nothing. <laughs> Bloody hell. The barrier won't go down so easily. I We are being watched. Bull calling Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn, respond! Respond, damn you! Raging bull. What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God preserve what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me. God damn it! We cannot hold much longer. <laughs> Mad snake! Mad snake! Seventh hell! What of the Barracudas? Can they not be reached? Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Swa. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Soi.
Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the... Damn it! Relay the order. All flames are to withdraw. I don't care if... You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody halfwit! The outcome <coughs> of this battle was long since decided. Better to retreat now than risk a massacre. This dark, stifling presence. Who or what? We go to take our place beside Archon Louisois. To your... That was all very interesting. But why did they have to cut off the voice acting all of a sudden? Oh, this is my room, is it? Comfy bed. Unending journal. Toy chest, what's that? No, oh, mini games. Armoire. Um. No. Crystal ball. Okay. Summoning bell.
Okay, it looks like we are going a traveling. So you, well, let's get rid of that wall. We don't need that anymore, do we? The mask. Let's get that back on. That's better. They could have made this game so much better, you know, really, couldn't they? If they, if they would have continued with the voice acting, apart from doing it for the very special occasions. Well, I think so anyway. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, where am I going? Uh, there we go. That one. Looks like this is going to be a chat and CGI <laughs> episode. <laughs> uh, not CGI, is it really? In-game story, shall we say. I mean, would it have been so hard to make this voice acted? Thank you very much. Speak with uh, Leigh and Alice at the airship landing. Okay, that's got to be around here somewhere. I'll take it, that's down the bottom. What's that? Oh, that's that where I came in. Gangplank? Yes, please. Oop, waiting. Yes, please. Where are we going to today? Goodbye, folks. I think it is time for the adventure to really begin.
Nice armor, dude. It has been 15 years, but the bitter taste of defeat lingers still. 15 years since the Imperial fleet set course for Mordona, led by the Agrios, mightiest of all vessels. Silver Till it lay ripe for the taking, and all of Eorzea would soon be ours. Or so we believed. But an innumerable host of dragons met us that day, at the heart of which flew the great meat guard Zormer. Though we succeeded in slaying that lord among worms, the Dread Serpent's defeat was bought at too high a price. Our invincible flagship was lost, and all hope of victory with her so ended our glorious conquest. Nice. Well, if this is where we're landing, then it'll probably be an appropriate time to call this episode. But we're carrying on. Eorzea, a blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp. For all the destruction it wrought, even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control. And for this failure, the realm has sunk deeper into depravity. It is twisted beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Yet, it must be saved. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the misguided masses from their ignorance. We are of one mind, Lord Van Balzer. Hey, is the Legatus really planning to take another tilt at Eorzea? Hey, what hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartano. What could the Legatus possibly hope to gain by acting a... I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus's plan. Ah, uh, my, my lord! Please, call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Othard, my lord. Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume? I... I don't know what you... Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Frumentarium sees all. Clean up this mess, and do not miss any, or I shall be most displeased. At, at, at once, my lord. Well, what an a-hole you are. Garland, soon you will be made to know the true power of Machitech.
Appears we've gone to the Pyro Corps first. Yes, one sir, one in sir. Do I finally get control back? We shall see. Yes, I do. Okay. Right, well, guys and girls, we will call it there then. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget, if you do like the videos, please leave, leave a like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments below if you wish me to continue with the Silver S. Silver Mains journey. If you do, let me know. Thanks very much, guys. This is all great. Signing off.